This is something I've never seen before. I don't know if it's part of the genetics or if it's some kind of a disease. And I don't remember what I planted here either. <laughs> it was either either Russian cucumber or Thalmasander squash. I think it was Thalmasander squash. But the leaves are silvery. Never seen that before. <clears throat> it's not powdery, so it's not the powdery it'll do stuff. It doesn't come off in your hands at all when you touch it. it looks just like a it feels just like a regular leaf. When I look underneath, I don't see any problems. Check underneath all the leaves. I don't see any problems. So I'm recording a video, son. Anyway. I don't see any problems. But the thing is, <coughs> those, and it's hard to see in the shadow there, I have to go down the side. Well, none of these other ones have any issues. They're, they're not Thelma Sanders though. Those are luxury squash. I don't know what those two are. I think they're Big Macs. And then these are Thelma Sanders right here. They're not turning silver. There we go. That should do it. None of, the, none of these Thomas Sanders are. And this one is a Russian cucumber. And it's not turning silver. So I don't know. <clears throat> then this one over here. Way over in this corner. This is a Russian pickling cucumber. It's kind of got some silver going on, sort of. But then the other ones don't. So if it's genetic, why don't they all have it? Or is it just a trait that manifests sometimes? Or is it the silver leaf fly that I read some documents on? Saying it can cause things to go silver. Anyway, if anybody knows what this is, let me know, please. Thanks. Catch you next time.